Very good morning to you from the Old Geezer's Diary. It's the 3rd of August 2017. And it's me, Chris Gosling, coming to you from the little garden behind the Costa Coffee Concession at Ipswich Hospital. Let me tell you, I'm uh, going home today. I'm delighted to be going home today, but I was delighted to have been here for this week and being treated so well and um, so kindly by so many people. Uh, one of the things I can't get over really is just how nice all the people have been. Uh, one or two, I think, have been feeling a bit under pressure and have been a bit, you know, oh, come on. <laughs> and uh, really, I don't blame them because they've been being pushed about probably from other people. But everybody's had time for a smile, everybody's had time for a word. Um, the medics who have been treating me have treated me, I think, extremely well and done the stuff that. I think needed to be done and done it faster than I anticipated so I'm really really chuffed to little little green apples I think the thing I want to say um, though is that one of the things that's come home to me is that hospitals like this I knew this already but hospitals like this are really for the ordinary people like you and me and us guys the guys who go out to work us guys on pensions kids families hospitals are for us and all the people who allegedly run or inverted commas think they own the hospitals like the politicians who are on I don't know 100 grand a year or 150 grand a year they can all afford their private health care if something goes wrong they rush into enough fields I expect whereas if something goes wrong for us we're, we're lucky we get taken into here in time and get fixed which is brilliant but the reality is that those politicians don't really give a toss too much uh, and that's why they keep cutting back and trying to cut back and trying to cut back on hospitals, I believe, uh, ordinary NHS hospitals that do such a good job, and they're constantly having their budgets cut and constantly being told you can't do this and constantly being told you can't do that. And to be honest with you, um, the people who get treated by NHS hospitals are the, the ordinary people of this country, the people who don't have a huge income, uh, the people who don't have huge family fortunes. So we are the guys who also vote for those politicians, and then they kind of don't worry so much about it. So I think we ought to fight, maybe, as a population, we ought to fight a bit more for the NHS and say to politicians, you know, what are you doing to help the NHS? Because, by goodness, they ought to. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.